I'm Julia Zabo, also known as Pet Reporter, and I am the Living with Dogs columnist for Dogster.com. I've actually written six books, and I'm hard at work on my next one. It will be about dogs. That's as much as I can say right now. <laughs> I love dogs, and I think nobody's life is complete without one. So I'm here to tell you about a variety of different dog breeds that might suit your lifestyle. I hope you'll adopt one soon. Pitbulls are my favorite kind of dog. Pitbulls are extraordinary to me, but unfortunately, a lot of the world really doesn't like pit bulls. The, this dog is the most feared and irrationally um, loathed and legislated against dog literally in the world. Tragically, the reason why so many people have been able to successfully misuse and exploit and abuse pit bulls is because pit bulls are so loyal to their owner. If the owner is a criminal who wants to do bad things, Sadly, the dog doesn't want to do those things, but because the owner wants to do it, he wants to please the owner, so he'll do it. But if the owner is a really great person who wants to go to hospitals and visit old people and young people who need a smile, um, they'll do that gladly. That's their favorite thing to do. Um, they will do search and rescue work. They will just be your friend. They will come running with you. They'll sit on the sofa with you. A lot like mutts, they're very, very versatile and adaptable. In a weird way, they kind of are mutts because they're a hybrid of terrier and bulldog. Uh, the complete name is American Pit Bull Terrier. I never said pit bulls are totally easy dogs to have. They're very, very strong. Um, they can be very strong-willed. You have to be firm but gentle. And um, you have to show the dog that you're the top dog, you're the boss, and so he listens to you. But you also, you don't want to be rough with him. You don't want to use cruel training methods, no shock collars, none of that. You just want to harness that energy for good. Believe it or not, in World War I, pit bulls were a symbol of American strength and um, and patriotism. So here we have this dog with this incredible history, incredible legacy. Let's appreciate him. Let's go to our local animal shelter, which sadly is like as much as 90% pit bulls, and you know, give him a home.